Hello, beautiful women. I am in a mall in Ramot, Israel, and took myself out for coffee. I'm not going to be able to do a video for the next day or two, and I wanted to jump on with you. So, a tale of two women. You know, in my life experiences, I have met a lot of women. And then, as I've become a coach, um, a lot of women reach out to me and they, we talk, hi Lisa, we speak, and then the work that I do with my clients. And in any time that you're working with lots of people, they fall into sort of categories. Now I hate to categorize anyone because we are all individuals. But in terms of growth, this is what I've noticed. The first woman, and this is very generalized, and it came to me last week after speaking to two women here. The first woman is very into growth. She knows she wants more. She knows she can be more. She knows she needs to make certain changes. And can you tell me if you can hear me, Lisa? Because I know there's a lot of uh, construction. Um, she knows she needs to make certain changes. <clears throat> She's been into growth, she goes to classes, she orders programs, she reads books, she takes lots of notes. <coughs> Excuse me. And she does grow very slowly, very incrementally, because she doesn't reach out necessarily for help or to the right people for help, for the support that she needs to change. She's more with people that say, you're doing a great job, it'll be okay, it's gonna get better. And, <coughs> I'm so sorry, the tail end. And because she does, she is a diligent student, and because she takes great notes, and because she so in her heart wants to grow and change, she does incrementally. But it's hard work. She's often one of the people that will read something and say, that is so true, that's me, but it's so hard. I really want it, but it's so hard. It's not easy, Hana. And because she believes it is so hard, she works extremely hard for it. And because she puts in such tremendous amounts of sincere effort, she believes she's really changing. Now, the situation with this woman is because she feels she's changing, in her mind, the changes feel real and deep. But in the outside world, they're only very incremental to the people around her. And in order to let people know how she's changed, she uses her words. But I'm so different. Can't you see I'm different? but I didn't react like I used to react. I didn't get as angry. My tone of voice stayed more moderated. And words don't tell anybody anything. It's more she's convincing herself. The tale of the second woman is also into change, but not incremental. She is my client that I like to call, that wants quantum kabooms. Now, I spoke with someone last week. She went through a very difficult situation. She knew it needed a difficult conversation. We talked about the it. She was very, very triggered <clears throat> by a specific person. She talked about the triggers, what were the triggers, why the triggers were so important. She narrowed them down to the top two or three. There were a lot of triggers and she knew she needed the difficult conversation, which we crafted a bit together. And she decided, Heitzvi, to have the difficult conversation. Now, if the difficult conversation was difficult, you know what was harder? Being in it after the conversation and holding her own truth. Saying no to what was asked of her to not give in and go back and say, well, okay, so I'll do it. They were offering her money. She didn't want the money. She wanted her growth. And do you know that through all of it, this quantum kaboom type growth woman kept saying, 
I am so triggered, but this is so fantastic. This is so fantastic. I've got to do this. And after she had the conversation and was trying to maintain her level of integrity and stay with it and own it, because it was out of her comfort zone, she said to me on the telephone, Hannah, I was so insecure after that call, but I knew it was the most absolute fabulous thing that I could do for myself. And she stayed with it. That woman had a quantum kaboom. Now I wanna to speak to coaches. You can only take your tribe as far as you go yourself. And unless you work on yourself to get what, to make the changes you want in your life, your tribe will stay asleep in those areas. Yes, they will. My clients are my heroines. They are awake, they are aware, and they are going for it. And they don't say, it's so hard. And I don't coddle them and say, I know, but you'll get there. No. Yes, it's hard. Keep going. Have the conversation. We'll talk after. And it always works. Which are you? So I want to tell you that I've been both. For so many years, I was the first woman. Coddling myself, telling especially my kids, see, mommy's working hard. I didn't yell so much. Oh, God, how nauseous. Um, and that's it. I want to encourage you in 2019 to go for quantum kabooms. That is what is going to change your life and you in your life. You see, the outward stuff isn't what changes. It's you and then you draw in what you've up-leveled to. I hope this serves you. Identify which woman you are. Both are working. You can take it slow and easy. And yes, it's hard, but we'll get there. And I'm doing the best I can. And I, all that works. And everybody is more evolved today because of it. But when you go after a quantum kaboom, you are not afraid of being uncomfortable. You will reach out for the support to me, if you're on to me, and you will make it happen. We'll do it together. Is it scary? Sure. Is it worth it? Absolutely so. I love you. I will see you in a few days. Please join at the very least my private Facebook group, Relationship Mastery with Confidence and Dignity. And I will see you soon. Bye everybody. This is Hannah Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor.